With cooler days ahead, we start spending more time indoors. Indoor plants are not just beautiful, they're incredibly good for you too. That's right, they're good for you because they act like a natural air filter. And there's been a considerable amount of research done that shows our air quality inside the home can be downright awful sometimes. So what indoor plant is best for your home situation? Well, the truth of the matter is, there's a huge array to choose from and you get all sorts of options, like the graceful Kintia palms with their weeping fronds. They look sensational and they're great indoors. Or if you want to bring a bit of prosperity to the household, maybe you want to get the Chinese happy plant. It's meant to help you get more money. And if you don't have a lot of room, but you'd like to have a plant, have a look at the Maranta. Incredibly hardy, beautiful little stripes over the foliage, and just a lovely indoor plant that you can't go wrong with. Atriums and pergolas that are covered by laser light or olsonite are also terrific places to create indoor plant forests. An area like this is perfect for these exotic beauties and again you can grow a huge range of really different and exotic plants with great effect. Allowing for large cluster plantings gives the effects of pockets of luxuriant foliage, lifting humidity and adding a sense of privacy to your garden. Some of the best plants for the atrium include the incredibly hardy golden cane palm. This clumping palm is tough and handles winter in most locations around the country. Bromeliads like these are absolutely brilliant indoors, but you can use them outside in an atrium environment as a ground cover, or even take them out of the soil, mount them on branches and create bromeliad trees. They look sensational. For foliage colour, unlike any other plant, put a few cord lines in. These come in a range of foliage colour variations and they'll grow outside in full sun in the warmer parts of the country. Another stunning foliage plant which is brilliant indoors or outdoors in atriums is this one here. They're called crotons and they're just beautiful. While it's not the most attractive name, the foliage is spectacular and these plants grow well indoors or in pots. If you get colder winters, pick a warm spot against the north facing wall for best wintering. Many of the indoor plants available from garden centres started their life in the north of Australia. Most of these were grown by Darwin plant wholesalers and getting slightly more advanced plants really does help in getting them to survive in their new homes. Here's a few tips for you if you want to have successful indoor plants. Now the first one is if you're going to put them in pots indoors, make sure you plant them into an absolute top quality indoor plant potting mix. and. Occasionally wipe the foliage down, remove any dust or grime, but don't use oil. Always use water. It's so much better for them. And lastly, give them a liquid plant food once a month over the foliage and they'll look fantastic.